Hello, uh, today we're going to be looking at walls. One of the main questions that we're often asked is why are walls created in the pattern that they're created? If we use our model bricks, if we stack our bricks side by side and on top of each other, what we will see is that if we were to build a wall, not the way we currently build it, but stacking on top of each other, what we would have is we would have an entire structure unable to cope with the stresses. Each column would act independently. So if we had a force pushing down from the top, it would go through each individual stack. If we had a force push on each stack, it would knock each stack over. So each one wouldn't be held together. The mortar that would be used in between would not be able to create a bond that would be strong enough. What we currently do is we currently create a stretcher bond. A stretcher bond is where we use bricks that overlap half and half. The easier way to demonstrate this and create the pattern, I'll now use Lego. So with my first layer of Lego, I've created four blocks in a line. When I position my next line, I come to the end, I need to create, use a half brick or a half bat to create the line. I then repeat the process. So what we will have is we've got a wall that has been created where there's no joins that line up. What this means is that the structure is able to withstand greater forces from the top and on impact or from the front. We've got to remember that one of the biggest forces that a, a low-rise domestic building will have is from its own weight. So when we create a single stretcher bond wall, we're using bricks that overlap half and half. So when we come to create an opening, what we will do is we will continue the same process. So brick after brick, and I then position my window, and I will then complete the wall on each side. When I get to the top, what I will use is I will use a lintel that will go over the top. So what this will do, what this means is that when we get to the top of the wall, we need something to span the gap. What we've got is, it's like a large piece of Lego. It goes over the top, and it means that the wall structure can continue and still maintain its forces. So from the side, a single brick wall would look like this with one layer, and you would see each brick individually. We've got an opening in this wall, so we need the lentil across the top. But this wouldn't be considered normal when, we, when we're constructing low-rise domestic buildings. Most buildings would have a cavity wall. A cavity would be the exact same on the inside. So here, I've created it using similar bricks. Most cavity walls would use blocks but we've got the windows that line up and the lintels in the same place. This is a straight lintel. On the screen we can see lintels in position. Here we've got lintels above a window. So we've got two above windows that are side by side. So they are both the same side and they're both supported on each side. Here we've got a garage. Obviously the opening is much bigger than a standard window or door, so the lintel is much bigger, it's much longer, but it is positioned in the exact same way. Those are both examples of straight lintels. We can have bay windows created, which would mean that we would need a shaped lintel. Here we've got a lintel rather than made of concrete, this one is made of steel, but it is positioned in the same way. So we've got the lintel positioned with a temporary support and the block work going on the top.